Welcome back to the Green Means Go channel. It's your host, me. We've got some Sunday night football on. Two teams that don't appear to be the most intriguing, but I do think it will be a competitive and, dare I say, high-scoring game. Hopefully you enjoyed some college football yesterday. If you were shocked that Oregon manhandled Colorado, I'm sorry. I tried to warn you. And, of course, the Notre Dame-Ohio State game in the late slate did not disappoint. A last-second finish won by the Buckeyes. But now let's look at tonight's late slate. Pittsburgh versus Las Vegas. But before we do that, guys, my candle's almost burnt out. You know the rules. 500 subscribers before we switch candles. We're at 473. 20 of you are going to watch this video who aren't subscribed. If you guys could just click that button, baby, we can get some fall scent, some pumpkin spice, maybe some crisp f falling leaves. Something better than embrace the chaos, all right? So let's get started. We have the Steelers who we watched on Monday night visiting the Oakland Raiders, formerly known as now the Las Vegas Raiders. And it is going to be, I think, an actual decent game. But before we talk about it, make sure you're playing your promos, guys. There are so many out there. It's the best way to make money on this channel. I try my best to handicap the games, to give you angles, to find value. But at the end of the day, the money I make sports betting is not necessarily from the picks that I'm making right here on this video. The money Money I make sports betting is from playing all of the promos, taking the guaranteed wins, and walking away and slowly building that bankroll. So I do these videos to try to give you guys an angle and an edge into what I think the game script will be. And if you tell the bets, fine. And if you don't, that's fine too. I'm doing this to try to help you in as many ways as possible outside of just giving you bets because there's a ton of people online right now that are just trying to give you bets. So this is going to be played in Las Vegas, the home of the next Super Bowl, actually. So come February, we will see this stadium on the biggest football stage in the world. Looking at the season for both of these teams, the Steelers and the Raiders are both one and one. Both of the losses came to very respectable Super Bowl contending teams in the 49ers and the Bills. Um, outside of that, the teams won a division game a close fought division game. Uh, so we saw last uh, Monday night, the Browns and the Steelers, a four point win there for the Steelers and the Broncos were a team that the Vegas Raiders beat in week one, 17 to 16. I'm going to apologize right now for this slide. The website that I get this data from lineups.com is still compiling information. So it's kind of tweaking out a little bit, but the main thing I want you to see is um, guys, this defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers on the rushing side of the ball is not good. They are allowing almost 200 rushing yards a game. I know it's only been two games. I know they played Christian McCaffrey, and then they played that Chubb-Ford combo last week. The point is I have not seen enough outside of that even to believe that they can stop the run. And for the Raiders, the thing I want to point you to is they are not running the ball. They have Josh Jacobs, one of the best backs in the league, and they won— we're trailing a little bit last week early, and so that kind of takes out the game script of running the ball. So that is a matchup I think we need to watch tonight, and it's one that I'm going to try and exploit. So let's talk about it. Overall, some notes going into this game. I think the Raiders, and I'll start over here with the Raiders, the Raiders need to get Josh Jacobs going. These are his stats. So last week he had nine attempts for negative two yards. Guys, they're better than that. He's better than that. Um, the week before against Denver, he had 19 attempts for 48 yards, an average of two and a half yards a carry. That's not the Josh Jacobs that I know and love. I think this is a perfect, perfect, perfect opportunity to get him back on track, and I think that's what they're going to try to do. As for the Steelers, they did win the game, but looking at that, they were outgained in every statistical category. Cleveland had four turnovers and double the penalty yards, and I think Sorry, yes, Cleveland had, yeah. Cleveland had double the turnovers, double the penalty yards, and I think that's why they ended up losing the game because they were the better team in this one. I don't think the Raiders are going to have that problem, although this is the Raiders we're talking about. So I do predict that the Raiders get it done tonight, but we will talk about that in a second because the Raiders are a minus 148 favorite on the money line. If you like the Raiders, take the two and a half right now because some books have already gone up to three. If you like the Steelers, obviously take the plus three at those books. 
if you want to have all of this information available so you don't have to open up every book you have and find the best line, you can go to Dark Horse. There is a link on my Twitter, actually, um, that you can use to sign up through that. It helps me out as well. So uh, the over-under is set at 43, which I think is low. I think both of these defenses have given up points. They've been vulnerable at times, and so I really do like the over in this game. As for bets, historically, Thursday night, we did not do well at all. Um, Slayton had 32 yards, so we just missed that. Hodgins is not as involved in this offense as I thought he would be, so I just need to accept that. Kittle did not find the end zone. Unfortunately, he had a few targets in the red zone, but couldn't get it done. Um, but we are up two units on the channel, almost two and a half units with our picks. So we can hope to keep that going because our college football just took a big turn yesterday, baby. We went to the negative. So um, as always, I like to provide this honest clarity. Um, and again, I want you guys to use these videos to find edges and angles, not necessarily to tail every bet I make. At the end of the day, you are responsible for tailing or not tailing picks, deciding what to do. So that is my warning. Here are the bets I like, and I like quite a few. Josh Jacobs, over 17 and a half rushing attempts. I think the Raiders come out. I think they f exploit the matchup with the Steelers, and they run the ball often. Okay, They get him going because they need to get him going this season. So we're going to go for the trifecta. Josh Jacobs, over 17 and a half attempts, his longest rush over 15 and a half yards, and his total yards over 71 and a half. Yes, I realized that the last few times I have not di diversified these bets and I've put all my eggs in a player's basket. We have had some pain on the other side, but I think this is a fine play to do. So that's what I'm riding with. As for these other bets, and this is interesting because Jalen Warren, I was making this slideshow, I was making this video, and I got an alert that said Jalen Warren will have more usage this week. And so I went on and I bet these. So I'm going to actually post right here his current line, okay, about an hour later. And we'll see if they've changed. I haven't looked, so I don't know if they've changed. I would imagine maybe they've changed with this news, but they may not. So if it's still sitting at these lines right here, I think these are good bets. So Jalen Warren over 30 rush yards at minus 113 and over 15 and a half receiving yards at minus 113. Again, I will post the actual line right now, and we'll see if that news caused the books to change their line. And finally, there is a 30% profit boost on this game. I'm keeping it somewhat simple. We're going back to what I tried in the New Orleans Carolina game that would have been pretty successful had Williams not got injured. Here it is. I like the Raiders tonight on the money line. I like the over 43. I think that is too low for the weapons that these teams have and the question marks that these teams have on defense. And finally, Josh Jacobs to score two touchdowns. Uh, I was looking at Zamir White at plus 600, but he has not been as involved as I think he should be even for that number plus 600. So this is what I'm rolling with. Again, guys, this use this information how you want. You don't have to tail all of this in this manner, right? If you're like, oh, I, I appreciate what he said about Jalen Warren. I'm going to use his receiving yards here. And I like the over... And um, I'm just going to leave it at that, right? I'm just going to bet those two things. That's fine, guys. Okay, I want to provide you with angle and insight. Angle and insight tells me that this game goes over 43. I think the Raiders win the game, and I think they run the ball well. That's the game script. That's what I think. So as always, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, especially when there's other things you could be watching, like the football games on right now. Hopefully you had some time to catch this, maybe at a halftime. Uh, if you don't mind subscribing, please do so, and we will see you soon. Monday night, doubleheader again. We'll make sure to get that video out as soon as we can. Take care, and we'll see you then.